Welcome back in Holland. Yes, yeah. I'm right very here. happy to meet you guys. I think it's a big yeah. honor. So thank you. thank you for doing this interview. How is it to be back in Holland? We love it here. We love it. It's like home. Um, we did a lot of great shows and a lot of big shows here. It was the first place that we sold out when we did our Brotherhood tour. So the fans have been great and um, we're still doing it. So we're excited for that. Yes. So and how many times have you actually been in Nijmegen? Oh, oh. <laughs> that's a hard question. <laughs> Not many times, but we were here maybe five years ago. Five for, years ago, yeah. I believe I so, so, for yeah. the same festival yeah. we are here this time. Yeah. yeah. So uh, we're excited to come back. We had such a great time last time. It was memorable. Um, it was, I don't have the best memory, but that's one performance I do remember. Yep. Uh, There's a lot of people on the, the big wheel in the so crowd. Nice. So it was, it was really cool. People had a good time. Have you also visited the city, Nijmegen? Not yet. Not yet. I have. Yet. Yeah? I walked through it. Yeah? It was, oh, what, what did you think? Yeah, how was I it? thought it was cool. Yeah? It, you know, because all of my experience here in Holland has been Amsterdam or Rotterdam. Yeah. Really big cities. Yeah. Um, so when I came to Nijmegen, then I made sure to walk around and, and visit it. And it was really cool. A lot of yeah. ancient cool stuff uh, that I got to see. And it, it was just cool to see a different side of living. Yeah. Do you think you could actually live in a city like Nijmegen? Is it very different than where you're from? I could. Yeah? I could. Why? Because I like slow pace. <laughs> yeah. I don't like big, crazy busyness. That's not me. So for me, I definitely could. And you guys? I feel, well, I feel I could probably live almost anywhere. All right. Um, <laughs> as long as they have a few essentials for me. Yeah. But um, I love it. I love it here. I love the bicycles. I love the way of life here. So it's very easy going. At least that's what I see. Yeah. So I would, I would enjoy it here. Have you actually been on a bicycle already? Yes. 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 How did that go? Oh, that was it. Was a lot was of fun. Cool. We didn't do it this trip, but um, about what was it 2015? We went on a, like a bike ride through one of the Dutch cities and stuff like that. It was really fun. Is it difficult? Way. Um, well, we don't know the streets and everything. I'm sure we, I'm sure we were going really slow and holding yeah. things up. Yeah. But um, we enjoyed it. Yeah. That's, that's I think, a nice little bike ride. I think the difficult part was seeing young kids go right past us. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, yeah. maneuver so well and we're so careful. Yeah. Um, but besides that, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Wait, do you cycle at home? Not, no, not so as much. much. We know no. how to. Yeah. We used to when we were young. No, right. But not every day. This is part of your culture. Yeah. yeah. So it's a really cool thing. For us, you know, Americans are pretty lazy and they, they like to be in their cars. <laughs> so for us to see, every yeah. time we come here, that's what stands out is how much you guys cycle. And it's, it's a cool thing. It's it really is really nice cool. to try. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Um, this is actually quite funny because in the last interview, you also said you think Nijmegen has a lot of snack bars. I think it was you that said it uh -huh. and that you really like the fries. Yeah. So I was actually curious, did you already have fries? I have fries quite often. <laughs> so in, in I, 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 everywhere. Really? <laughs> I love fries. Yeah. So I'm sure I had it. I just don't <laughs> recall uh, any particular stories, but I, I'm sure I did have it. So you haven't had it this time yet? Not this time. Yeah. Are you going to today, you think? I think so. After the show, it'll be a celebratory <laughs> type do you, of snack. Do you think the fries are better here than where you're from? <sighs> Difficult question. Difficult question. <laughs> they, they taste more real. Really? I'll say that. <laughs> Why? I don't know, maybe because you guys use potatoes. That's not, yeah. That does sound more real. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I understood from you that you're here alone and not with your family. Just yes, well, yeah, yeah. My, yeah my, my wife is here. Your yeah, wife is yeah. here. And do you have any time to like do stuff this time or is it just flying and flying back? Uh, well, we, we're flying, yeah, we're flying in, flying, flying back. Right. We kind of made a little yeah. trip out of it. I've learned. You've I've learned, learned to, <laughs> to enjoy it and to, to not just fly in and fly. It's a long flight from the States. Yeah. So now when we do shows like these, I try to make it uh, a bit of a vacation before and after the show. Oh, that's very nice. To enjoy it. Life's short, so I want to that's take true. advantage of seeing things around yeah. the world. And do you have anything planned? Yes. What are you going to do? I'm going to go to Amsterdam for a couple of days, Ooh. enjoy it, nice. uh, go see a museum, maybe a canal cruise. Oh, that's very nice. And then I'm going to Cannes in the French Riviera in France. Mm. Ah, all right. Oh, so that's a big holiday, actually. I try, yeah. yeah. Before it gets crazy with the kids, so that's what I'm trying <laughs> to do. Are you guys not a little bit jealous? No. Well, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. I mean, it'd be great to, yeah. to do all that stuff, but 
my kids just started, my oldest just started high school. Oh, yeah. And my youngest middle school, so I like being there for yeah. them to do that. I can adjustment. imagine, yeah. But I think yeah. it's also quite hard to fly in, perform, fly back. It's very hectic. Yeah, it's very yeah. hectic, but we're used to it. I mean, mm -hmm. we've had <laughs> crazy days in the past, yeah. so it's a little different. And, and at least at, for us, all of us now, mm. Taj's got kids now, so yeah. for all of us, we got little ones to get home to yeah. that, that, you know, it yeah. makes it difficult when That's you're away. That's worth a lot, yeah. 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 Um, obviously, I also have a few questions about like the music business. Yeah. How is it going? It's great. Yeah. The music in, as a whole, you're saying? <laughs> music business is different now. Yeah, it's yeah. very different. It's, it's very different, but... It's better, though. I it's gotten better. better. It used to be, yeah. It, in ways. In yeah. ways, I will say. It's what, what would you say? I'm here, in ways? curious to know your answer. Well, I think it's, I think it's great that people can, can do music and create art and, and distribute it to the world. Um, without having, quote unquote, the middleman always controlling what you do, yeah. how you do it. So that way I, I enjoy it. Um, but it's also made it a lot harder because there's a lot of people that are doing it that don't really put in the time and the effort. And yeah. it's just... Yeah. It's almost like quantity over quality yeah. in a way. Yeah. And yeah. are you guys writing any new music or...? Yeah, I always, I'm always writing. Yeah. I'm always creating and writing. So, so can we expect a new yeah, song? I, that's the thing. I, mm -hmm. just, I just feel like the business that we grew up in, you know, we watched and studied so many great artists and we really yeah. put the time into studying it. And, you know, you have to be, I always say that you have to love music in order to be in the music business because it's such an up and down situation yeah. that if you don't have a true love for it, then you're not going to last. Yeah. Um, mentally, you know, in it. So I, I always love creating. I, I create whether we're doing music or I'm doing music for fun or just, you know, whether I'm making little songs with my kids. So oh, I, nice. I enjoy it and I love it. Yeah. In, um, in 2017, when you had the other interview, you also uh, spoke about new adventures, mm -hmm. as in some country music. Mm. Yeah, do you remember that? Yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember it, but it sounds we appreciate all kinds of music. Yeah. And I actually just moved to, to Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, where right. there's a lot of country music. So I hear a lot of that. But I enjoy music. I, I love music. I appreciate all kinds of music. So I'm sure we're open to anything. And, you know, if you love music, you love music. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you open Spotify, what, what do we see on your accounts? Mm. You'll you'll see some country music, believe yeah. it or not. Yeah. Yes, like, like what? Um, just just random things, you know. Um, <laughs> I'll Spotify or I'll Shazam things if I hear it walking around. Um, yeah. But there's a lot of great great country music out there. One of my best friends, he fell in love with country music way back, and you wouldn't think he would like com country music, but he sent me a playlist and was trying to get me into it way back then. But it's great storytelling. Yeah, yeah. it's great storytelling. So. I mean, I have country music, I have EDM, I have R&B, I have pop, I have everything. In my that is, yeah, that's very For me, it's 80s yeah. and 90s and 70s. Like, it's, yeah? I'm like a flashback person, so. Yes, yeah. I, I, know, I know exactly you, what you'll hear. Yeah, you'll, you'll hear exactly. stuff from like 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. You want nothing <laughs> current. Well, that is really good music, yeah. obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you have any new uh, collaborations in the future? Nothing yet. Nothing, nothing yet. yet. Nothing yet. I, I, there's nothing planned going forward, but I'm, you know, we've been doing this since we were little kids. Yeah. And we are brothers, so I think there will definitely be another 3T project coming up where yeah. people can listen to new music. Yeah. But nothing is specifically planned just yet. Do, do you have like a name you would really work together with? That we would want to work with? Yeah. Whew. Hmm. I think for all of us, well, there's some young, younger artists, but I th I th at least for me, there's still something about the quality of the older artists mm -hmm. that I just love. You yeah. know, like a Lionel Richie. I was going to say Lionel, that but yeah. That's amazing. Those, yeah. That, that, that's that's that the kind of collaboration that would interest us yeah. more than any of the younger the artists. The people that we listened to and grew up, yeah. grew up with, we'd want to do something with them. Is there anyone in Holland you would like Ooh. to do a collaboration with? I don't know too a many Dutch artists. artists. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the only Dutch artist I know is the DJ. Um, is it Mark? Is Martin Garrett? No, is he from yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, from here, yeah. right? Yeah. That, him. Yeah. yeah. So not anyone on the festival today? Like a Dutch, uh, like the Gust, for example? I don't know. I, I'd be open to working with anybody. <laughs> yeah. 
I as long know. as they love music, that's what yeah. that's the requirement. As long and, as they truly yeah. like it. I think it's really cool because, like, in Europe, you guys listen to everything. In, yeah. in America, we really just get American artists unless mm -hmm. they cross over. It's mm -hmm. so we're really limited right. in terms of what we get to hear in that. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So I'm, I'm excited to hear the other DJs and all that yeah. stuff because it's going to be an introduction for us. Yeah. Are you going to stay on the festival uh, before and after you've finished? Or? I'm sure we'll hang Try out for a little bit. Music. Yeah, it depends. Yeah. I know we have other interviews too. Yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm a big uh, fan of your whole family. I absolutely love basically everyone. <laughs> and I'm just very curious, uh, how is your dad? What is he doing? Oh. <laughs> He's doing well. He actually has the sh a show the same day today, today. in New yeah. York. Yeah. Oh, wow. mm. He was going to try to come by yeah. oh, and, wow. and watch us in, in, here in Nike Megan, but he, they got a show at the last minute, yeah. so he ended up going to New York to oh, do his own nice. show. Yeah. That's really cool. But um, he's still busy, you know, rocking the stage and performing for many people with his brothers around the yeah. world. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just very proud of him. Yeah, that's amazing. I can imagine. It must be so, like, surreal to grow up in a family like that. It's cool. Yeah. It's yeah. really cool. It's, it's all we know, so yeah. we can't really compare it to other things, but... It's our father doing what he loves with his brothers yeah. and performing for you know tens of thousands of people when they yeah. perform. And it's a, it's a really cool thing and a reminder that if you take care of, of doing great things and, and really put that as a focus to provide people happiness, yeah. Yeah. you can do it for as long as you want. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. a really appealing and, and really cool thing to know. You yeah. know some, it's a lesson we always learn. Bringing yeah. joy never goes out of style. And I yeah. think that's, yeah. if you do music that brings joy, yeah. then people will always be receptive to it. So. And that's also something that's very important in like the Jackson family. Like, yeah. yeah. That's the feeling I get. Yeah, yeah I was feeling, feeling we I get too. Yeah. That's what we grew up with too. Yeah. Like that's, uh, yeah. yes. Well, yeah, and obviously uh, your uncle, Michael Jackson, yeah. I mean, such mm -hmm. a hero. Yeah. Um, you sat in the last interview that you know him as like a human and a person yeah. and an uncle and all the other people see him as like a pop star mm -hmm. and um, um, you said that he made a really big impact on your life yeah, nice. and I was just curious can you make that a little bit more specific like is there like a tiny uh, quote or maybe something he used to do or maybe when you hear it or see it you think like oh yeah that was my uncle Michael <laughs> I, there's so uh, there's, that, so, that, there's so yeah. many things. He was he was truly like a big brother to us. You know, he, we looked up to him and could ask or tell him anything. I think the main thing I got from my uncle Michael was just to be a good person mm -hmm. and yeah. to understand the impact you can make in the world. Yeah. And to to don't take it for granted to mm -hmm. do yeah. something with that. Yeah. Try to make the world a better place. Yeah. What you hear in his music and those inspirational messages really how he lived his life. Yeah. And that's what he yeah. wanted to make sure his nephews did. Yeah. yeah. Make yeah. your platform, yeah, do something with your platform, yeah. basically. Yeah, mm -hmm. with the stage you Yeah, have. exactly. And so, and he did. So that's, yeah. that's yeah. what I think would be the most. I, um, I saw a few uh, clips from you guys where you're actually dancing. And I was oh. curious, like, did he also teach you to dance? <laughs> no, <laughs> not much, as yeah. you can probably yeah. tell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't teach us much. Um, <laughs> Purposely, no, but he, he yeah. yeah, purposely, purposely, because yeah, yeah. I remember uh, us waiting in the van for him to come off stage and he was just drenched yeah. and worn out and tired. And uh, that's when we got the speech. He said, if I were you, I wouldn't, I wouldn't dance much. <laughs> <laughs> he said, because he said, I couldn't go out there and do Billie Jean and just stand still singing yeah. into the mic. Yeah. Yeah. They throw rocks and tomatoes at me. <laughs> He's like, I have to do it, you know? So if I were you, you guys are just starting, so go the Beatles route. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And just play instruments yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and sing. Uh, yeah, it, I think it's difficult when it's in you, like you really yeah. want to. No, yeah, he's, <laughs> I mean, he's a whole different level. Yeah. I mean, but he Amazing. did teach us, he did teach us performing. Yeah. There's a difference, yeah. you know, performing Working and the dancing stage and, and, yeah. Yeah. and the audience and things. So he did teach us a lot. A little while ago, it was in the news that Harry Styles uh, was pronounced as maybe the new king of pop. Mm -hmm. And uh, you replied to it on Twitter as in, mm -hmm. it takes years of dedication and devotion to get a title like that. Um, how did it make you feel to read something like that? <laughs> I'll let you I'll guys go for it. Oh, you want me you to answer? answer? I think you should answer. Yeah, because the first time I, I read about it or I heard about it, yeah. I was actually reading about Taj. Me yeah. too. That's oh, yeah. the first so, time I heard it. And social media can be really taxing and stuff like that. So, But then I kept reading that 
um, I kept seeing that thing on, on the Rolling Stones and it just kept bothering me just because I knew how hard my uncle had worked for that yeah. title and I knew how much it meant to him in yeah. that way. And they only do it with him if that's the kind of, that's the frustration. Rolling yeah. Stones. Yeah, Rolling Stones and yeah. some others too, and there's but a, mainly there's Rolling others. Stones. And you take all of that and they're all, and, and so, I feel like it was just, and it was nothing against Harry Styles. No, 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 you made that very clear yeah, as well. Because yeah. as artists, we appreciate anyone that's out there doing it and yeah. working hard because it's, it's a hard industry. Yeah. But it's just when a, when a publication just throws things out there like that yeah. in that way. And there's only one king of pop and that's yeah. Michael Jackson. Yeah. Well, that's, I think, fair enough. And yeah. You also were very clear in your comment that it wasn't like, like against Harry Styles, no. maybe he should have his own title and stuff. Yeah, like, I mean, there's you know, there's the, Aretha Franklin, Queen of Soul. Yeah. You, uh, the Boss, which is Bruce Springsteen. I don't know if you, yeah, yeah. But it's, I just think the Rolling Stones magazine they have like a issues. true, they have an issue or just a passion to replace my uncle. They've been, <laughs> they've been doing it since yeah. 20 yeah. years ago. They did it with Justin Timberlake. They called him the new King of Pop. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I don't know what's going on there. I don't know where that comes mm. from, if it's just a hatred towards my family or uncle or it's a race thing. Mm. I'm not saying it, but I don't know. But yeah. they need to relax with that and, and give, yeah. I think, him some more props for what he did do yeah. and how he influenced all these artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, obviously, uh, we're nearly running out of time. So yeah. uh, a few more questions about the festival. Are you ready? Always ready. Yeah. yeah always always ready. excited. Love for Holland, yes. Are you excited. Nervous? No. Uh, no, it's, it's not a it's <laughs> not a nervousness. I think though, yeah. I think as we get older we appreciate and, and enjoy these moments. Yeah. A lot more. Um, but yeah, we I I think especially for myself, I, I was so serious in our performance that, yeah. you know, things just go quick and you look back and twenty, thirty years pass. So now it's it's more about having fun and, and celebrating, you know, yeah. creating the, the music and performing it, you know, and, and having the, the platform and the opportunity and really enjoying that. Yeah. You know, yeah. so. And do you have a lot of fans here in Nijmegen? Do you think people are going to sing along? And do you well, dance? I hope so. We'll find out, right? We're planning on it. <laughs> well, I remember last time, five years ago, you know, I, I, I always see the crowd and, and can scan it, and there was a lot of 3T fans. And yeah. Yeah. That's they're nice. singing all the words and dancing and having a good time. So that was really rewarding because it had been mm -hmm. some time since we had performed yeah. in the country. And like I said, we never had performed in Nike Megan. Yeah. So yeah. to see that for our first time coming, it was, it was a beautiful thing. Yeah. And nice. even now, when we, we had a rehearsal, and, and the lady who owned the, the rehearsal space mm -hmm. was a huge 3T fan. And, yeah. you know, uh, it, it's just always great to feel that love and warmth. Yeah. Uh, we are so blessed to have been such a part of so many people's yeah. youth. Mm -hmm. yeah. But that magic never goes away. Yeah. And um, we feel the same. For us, it's the same way. Yeah. That same love and you know, <laughs> respect and happiness we feel when we get to perform for you guys. Yeah, so. Holland's been great mm -hmm. for us and, and great to us. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. I'm definitely uh, there singing and dancing. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah, right. <laughs> yes. Look out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, thank you very much. We actually thank you. have um, a funny, um, it's a bit silly, but in Holland. It's okay. Um, it's okay. Uh, people like to collect magnets oh, okay. from the okay. fridge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we thought we'd buy you a very beautiful magnets from the city, Nijmega. All right. One thank you. each. Here oh, you go. Cool. And thank you thank very you. much. Thank, uh, thank you. Oh, nice. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you very much. This, this, is is the, this is like one of the oldest cities, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. There is actually a I pub read. as well uh, on the Grote Markt. It's called the Big Market. That is, how old is it? The Blaue uh, the Blaue yeah, Hans. The blue hand. Wow. I was there wow. a while ago, and it's it's insane how old it is. Like, wow. Are you like from here? Vibes. Yeah. You're from. But here. I lived in Amsterdam for a really long time, and I got back here because I also like the oh, slow pace. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. These are great. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love little souvenirs. Seriously. Cause, really? Yeah, because it reminds yeah. me when I go back home of what yeah. I've done. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you very much again. Thank you. I really liked uh, the interview. Thank you. Thank you.